Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. So uh, nothing much going on with Euro USD. We're still very much stuck inside this um, range. And as we head to the end of the year, I suspect we're more than likely going to stay in this range. Um, so if we just pop down to the hour, uh, it's probably not even range trade. So it has been holiday season. Yesterday was sort of a half muted day with some market closed in the US Open. But uh, realistically, I think you know, this pair, we're going to be going sideways going into the end of the year. Um, US dollar Japanese yen does look like it has broken through some consolidation. I'd be looking at pullbacks into this area, which would uh, get me interested. And that's basically where we opened the week. And there is one other area we need to pay attention to, which is right over there. So let's get down to the hour. So the first area to be paid attention to would be 114.542. Pullback into that area and some structure. In other words, inside bars like that, like that. Um, engulfing bars like that. Uh, or pin bars on the level. Here's a pin bar, but not on a level. Um, then you'd be looking for an opportunity to buy into this. Um, so if you look at US dollar, Japanese yen, it does look like the dollar strength is looking to continue into the new year. Um, but we're going to have to wait for Euro USD to um, pick a direction. Uh, moving on to pound, uh, British pound, Japanese yen. So uh, we have kind of broken through some structure. Again, looking for pullback. So there is, uh, sorry, not is, there are two levels that I am pretty interested in. And I think I'll just round this one off onto this tail here. So you can see cup and handle. Let me just get this measured move. I set up this so the target is up in this area here. Let's just look at it on the hour. Okay, so we've had the breakthrough. We're looking for structure and I'm going to just adjust the structure now onto there. So what you're looking for is a pullback into 153758. Look at your oscillators that are pointing to the downside at the moment. But um, what it's looking like is a cross like this where they are far apart. And you can see how violent the move is when that happens. So that is what looks like it is going to happen. Uh, so for me, pull back onto this area here, 153758. You're looking at a stop below the low of yesterday. And uh, you're looking to target 156262. Euro British pound just continued with its normal setup. So above the 155 EMA, then immediately as it breaks above, it struggles and then it drops below it again. Um, here we got above it, but we did form a fairly interesting head and um, sort of head and shoulders. So there's a head, there's a shoulder, and then there's a double left shoulder here. And we've got a, and you could draw a line at an angle like that to get it. I don't like doing that. I prefer a straight le, um, straight level. And that is 084859. So that's the first area to pay attention to. The second area is this area right here. Now, I suspect on the hour that that hasn't been, or it has been rejected. So I'm suspecting that it wasn't rejected yesterday. So you need to add another level in. And I would look at that. So what you're looking for, there are actually three levels here. I'm going to use this one here. So there is your structure. So pull back into um, 084375 or 084443 would get me looking for a move to the downside. So it does look like we're going to be pushing into the downside going into the close of the year. So that's kind of the structure that we see there. Um, just be careful. Remember, we are building an end of month candle and we're also building an end of the year candle. And it's very rare that you see any candle that doesn't have a tail. And what I mean by that is the, the probability of it moving in the opposite direction to where you have been moving for the whole year. If you look at that, this, this year has been down and we're now sort of at our low. There is a bit of a tail at the moment, but often there is a tail you can see here, this is on, we go to the monthly. Um, you can see what I mean. There's often a tail on a bar. Very rare that it closes or closes on its low or high. So just keep that in the back of your mind as you go into close of the year. There could be a sort of a, a swing in the opposite direction to where the yearly or monthly bar is going at the moment. So 
pay attention, keep your wits about you, and keep your position size small, and uh, keep those stops in place. Anyway, hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.